You mentioned that we measured this thing and we thought it was worthy of the biggest Nobel Prize ever in history. That was the discovery of the quantum origin of the universe called inflation. But in reality, we found schmutz, these microscopic meteorite particles right. that you get if you go to my website, briankeating.com. You got one? You got yours there? This is for your producer, super it. producer Joey. I got one for Still him too after the there. episode. Um, so we were actually measuring these microscopic meteorites that form this twisting pattern that led us to the confirmation bias assumption that we had detected the spark that had ignited the Big Bang, okay? We actually measured that exquisitely precisely, okay? So the measurement still stands up, that we measured this pattern to many significant figures, many digits of precision. However, we interpreted, the, the interpretation was that we measured this inflationary signal. In that sense, we're inaccurate. So something doesn't get more or less accurate. It's, it's, it is what it is, and, and you can calibrate it, and you can become closer. So what we had to do is build an entirely new experiment mm. and say that experiment is only going to look for the schmutz, the dust, the, the crap that we don't want to see. And then by focusing in on what we don't want, then we can subtract it from the total what we saw, which is cosmic signal plus the dust signal. We have a dust-only signal. So you subtract the dust-only signal from the cosmology plus dust signal, and what you're left with would be the cosmic signal. When we did that subtraction, we came up with nothing, okay? So that means that the original thing we reported as being only cosmological was actually mostly, or if not all, dust. 